Welcome to our channel today. We're here with another amazing video. Today's video will bless you in no small way. If you have yet to subscribe to our channel, please subscribe and also click on the notification button below so you'll be notified every time we upload a new video. If you feel this video can bless someone, kindly join us to spread the gospel to the world. Please sit back, watch, and enjoy. Thank you, Jesus. She brought us color, Ready? The first law of success, the law of relationships. Write it down. The law of relationships. Ignore this and suffer for the rest of your life. Embrace this and watch your life change as though you are holding a charm. Everybody say the law of relationships. Shout it. The law of... Write this down. Success is highly relationship dependent. Success is highly relationship dependent. Your success and my success in life is highly relationship dependent. Number two, everything money can buy, relationships can buy it. Write it down. Everything, I don't care what it is, anything at all that money can buy, relationship can pay for it money can buy a house relationships can buy a house money can help you build a church relationship can help you build a church listen money as you know naira and cobalt dollars pounds yen these things are not the only means of exchange relationship is currency you can use it to pay for things relationship is currency you can use it to pay for things there are many ignorant people who want to be successful but they do not know the law of relationships so they have to look for money to pay for everything you ask them and they tell you i need five million i need ten million whereas the relationship you have is worth billions of naira in value and it is capable of paying for anything money can pay for there are people who have had to pay hundreds of thousands in a seminar and another person relationship paid for it and he entered free are we together now there are people who have had to pay for rent and others relationship has been paying their rent there are people who have had to pay for everything in life. Listen, if you use money to buy everything in life, you are not wise. No. It is a total display of lack of wisdom to use finances to get everything in life. It has nothing to do with being rich. That's the mistake our parents made. I love our parents, don't get me wrong. Some of you here are parents, we love you, we honor you with all our hearts. Most people think you only succeed when you start having salary, 100,000 coming. And they now say, wow, I have 100,000. Then they have a need. They ignore relationships. And something that would be cheaply paid for, they would have to look for money and pay for it. I have paid for many things in my life using relationship. Relationship like a debit card. You can use it and withdraw many other things. You can use it and pay for many other things. Relationships today by the grace of God has given me platforms. I am connected to people. Listen, connectivity is a key to success you must be connected relationships can help you access anointings relationships can help you access endorsements relationships can help you access favor 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 the major ingredient in success is favor but it takes relationships
We have come with open arms, O oh, land the ancient words. Hallelujah. There are things in my life I would have paid for financially. Let me give you an example. This great auditorium, an act of kindness and benevolence by CGC. We have never paid a single couple for this venue. And some of you who are into real estate know if you value this and we have to pay every week for all of this. Imagine the millions of naira that relationship has paid for. Yes. Something in your life that you are hoping to change today is relationship dependent. Something, a dimension in your life you must enter now is relationship dependent. Unfortunately, for many of us, all we know is just love relationship. Husband and wife, somebody who likes a lady, a lady likes him back. That, that's only an aspect of it. Your relationship with God is a key to your success. Correct? You excel in life on the strength of your relationship with God. The healthier your relationship with God, the healthier your relationship with the Spirit of God, the greater your success. The prodigal son, please help me with the sound, please. The prodigal son made a big mistake. He broke relationship to look for money. Are you seeing the mistake of the prodigal son? Thank you. He, he jeopardized the potential for relationship. He had a relationship with his father. And on the strength of his relationship with his father, he did not pay for food. He did not pay for protection. But here's what he said. I don't want relationship. I rather want money. And he ended relationship and got money. What happened to the money? Without relationships, your finances will always be finite. There is only so much. Relationship is the secret of continual financial flow. Relationship is the secret. It is relationship that will keep finances. I'm not talking about finances necessarily, but I'm just using it as a case study. Relationships. People have blessed me today purely based on relationships. Not even as in the capacity as a, of, of a man of God. Just to bless. Do you know that somebody in Zaria today has the heart to bless you, but you do not have the connection? Are you hearing what I'm saying now? Somebody has the capacity to pay for your rent without begging and without lying. Somebody has the capacity to give you free land purely based on relationship. During my birthday, people did things for me that almost brought tears from my eyes. I I usually am not into celebrating birthdays and the rest. The leaders did something touching. Different people did things, but there were certain strategic blessings and things that were done. That I said, God, what is this? What is this? Relationships. Relationship can give you access to realms where your physical qualification should not allow you enter there. Many of us have been trivializing relationships. That's why we keep hustling. The Bible says the labor of the fool where yet every one of them. He does not know the road to the city. By the grace of God, I understand the ministry of destiny helpers. The ministry of destiny helpers is futile without relationship. God has used me as a destiny helper to many. God has used many people as destiny helpers to me. Hallelujah. Cheap victories that many of us lose. Cheap victories. Some of our parents do not know anybody. And so you pay for everything. And when you want to use money alone to be successful, a day will come you will have all the money in your life. And you'll find out that there are some things money cannot do. Are we together? There are people, you know, one of the greatest this is one of the greatest lessons that I've learned from my father. My father is a man who was wealthy in relationships. I used to think he was just, you know, you know, just someone who just likes people. 
but now that i've grown i have seen the wisdom relationship paid many bills for my father relationships let me tell you something relationship is an investment the same way you invest in business is the way you invest in relationship all this something for nothing is, is a joke there are many of us we have this self flattery they don't like me you don't call me i won't call you sit down there the day you need the person you don't call that's when you know relationships are important relationships are very serious value adding investments there are times you will call your destiny helper he will not respond there are times you will send him 100 naira credit there are times you will say sir just to appreciate you you will take out time to compose a text message as if you die there and he will just send you one word god bless you but he's working the day you now ask for help you have set a template there are people today if you ever see their text they are begging the moment the need is met they forget the relationships until the day need arises uncle it's me again no it's junior say hey, i know you are junior what is the issue say uncle you know i mean i'm in 400 level now honestly i say are you the first to be there you are matured enough to start working uncle we are we are traveling somewhere we are going so and he says don't be stupid don't you ever call my line again most of you when you call your helpers this is what they tell you it's only when you have trouble that you call me anytime anybody tells you that you need to strengthen your relationship many of us have very bad relationship maintenance systems for as long i know many great people sadly some of them even great people i know they don't know how to keep relationships at all anytime you see their call one missed call two missed call they're in trouble they need a favor they need a help some of you are born again tongue talking but you are like that and you have closed doors closed doors your friend is celebrating a birthday you can never remember say i'm too busy are we together now your your whatever it is i'm too busy a jimmy is my friend i love him and you know sometimes you see him and the wife and the two children of course um, not everybody will have access to come and visit me that's the privilege of friendship nobody is born with intimacy by default you walk your way into it listen i am a busy person it is true there are many people who say apostle i've been trying to see you what what ordinance do i have to see you what covenant do i have with who to see you i've been trying to see you you are not attending to me that's a foolish statement you should ask yourself those who have unlimited access what are they doing that's the key in time past there were offices i tried to access i've shared with you my story years ago when i went to look for a loan i won't tell you the amount i went to look for a loan in a bank these people wasted my time and did all kinds of things and i found out i had brain capital but no relationship capital and i made up my mind some of us the fire is getting hotter by the day and you think the key is to get a job quickly find relationships do you know there are people who are not working but relationship is paying them salary every month until they get a job yes sir i know people like that my mother has a relationship with me forever my father has a relationship with me forever my siblings have relationships with me forever as i rise they rise it's called blessed by association listen once the easiest way to be rich is to find somebody building something great and invest quickly and help the person rise and as you rise chop i chop i'm teaching you listen there you see the body of christ people there, there are many foolish people in the body of christ you watch people when they are starting you are the first to run your mouth i don't believe in them now you have access to them there are people years ago they had access to me they would have been some of the closest people to me today enjoying every blessing but they just saw it today now do you know the door you enter kicking your leg tomorrow you will feel a form so now that god gives you the opportunity there are people who use 50 naira to secure a relationship that is worth millions today that's wise investment 
the day that great man was looking for water you quickly carried your 50 naira the bible gives us a parable i don't have time in the bible where a man oh listen a man was about to be sacked by a king are we together and he knew he was in trouble he had been defrauding people a tax collector now they were going to throw him away do you know what he did he quickly called the people and said how much do you owe so so amount i reduce it for you ah and the moment they sat him he went back to them i scratch your back scratch my own too now this is a system that the world uses but believers don't know this koinonia is very connected to several people you see us connected to the military we are connected to the police we are connected to medical personnel we are connected to politicians because you rise through a network of relationships you don't know which it's not just about being selfish it's the way it happens relationships everybody shout relationships some of us if our parents knew this some of them their classmates today are the ministers in charge of abc no relationship to bless them is that true do you know there are people who sit down today and calls just come they call them one older oh, ah promise where are you I'm, I'm i'm trusting god for what come 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 there's create one committee that doesn't make sense i say sit down there you are the chairman in charge of it after, when god helps you after seven months they say okay that's all right it's dissolved just because you must be blessed ask mephibosheth how he paid for royalty relationships a man who was crippled are you learning what i'm ask the disciples how they became apostles relationship even when they ran away for three days when jesus resurrected they quickly apologized lord i'm sorry i'm still on your team and they became apostles are you hearing what i'm saying many of you right here you come for koinonia all the time and you have a a resentful attitude this brother you are not you are not my class you are not wearing my shoe rather than for you to sit down and say ah this brother is always taking notes god is taking him somewhere he may have one trouser two hundred naira one shoe one whatever but what is entering his spirit is programming him for greatness some of you resent every other person who is not you you are losing you are losing big time in life just this law alone will bless you i am i am i am a benefactor of relationships by the grace of god god has connected our ministry with all kinds of people there is there is nothing at this level by the grace of god there is nobody within our sphere of influence that we want to meet that we cannot meet it's impossible somebody knows somebody do you know statistically they say you are four people away from anybody you want to meet four people four people there are others who will invite a guest minister in the capacity of his office and pay one million honorarium someone else because of relationship he said no 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 whatever you know i mean we are together i pray for you from the depth of my heart that the the power of relationships will show in your life from today please sit down many times you see an old woman carrying firewood on her head firewood that is as heavy as five men she puts it on her head walking the question i ask is where are her relationships this mama is 70 years she spent 70 years on earth and you cannot build a relationship with one successful person listen if you are up to 25 years hearing me and there is no one successful person in your life you are really failing hear what i'm saying you are really failing there is nobody to run to when things go bad there are people like that you are a pastor you want to hold a convention and you are stranded financially nobody in your circle of influence has risen to say please sir cover my shame for me relationships cover your shame relationships cover your shame Who 
is standing in for you who is helping you rise you go to an oil company holding your certificate and you knock at the gate and the gate man says yes say i prayed and god led me to come and submit my cv he says bring it as he collects it he throws it inside a dustbin and you go back rejoicing and keep seeing visions of yourself working in an oil company till you are past the age that they will receive you because there's no relationship another unbeliever let me tell you this and i say this sincerely this is one secret that muslims have relationships relationships you will hardly see a muslim child go somewhere that his father cannot create that's why some of course i i, I love them we love muslims and all of that and you find out that there are some of them you see them in your schools they, do, they are not even serious because they know that relationship has already had they had the degree before they started so this is just a ceremony for all of that to happen because relationship has created a degree somewhere there is a space that has been created since they were in 200 level waiting for them to occupy but believers don't have that wisdom i show you the life of god versus the principles of god Are we together? There is no day in my life that relationship does not bless me. There is no day. I say it, may God forgive me if I'm lying, but it's true. There is no day in my life that relationship does not bless me. You cook by yourself. You wash your clothes by yourself. You intercede for yourself. No relationship nobody seen anything about you to pray for you by yourself you are looking for favor by yourself they drive you alone you walk alone you counsel yourself you motivate Abba. say relationships say the law of relationships i made a statement years ago and i repeat it every once and again that we will all be great right and the greater part is that we will all know ourselves praise god sorry about that some of you here um will never have any helper do you know why you are anti-friendship your persona is anti-friendship you are resentful you are rude you are callous you are very very offensive in your approach turn and tell one another good evening and somebody turns and you're looking at the person you are not my class stop that oh listen he that wants friends must first show himself humble yourself in this training ground where nobody knows who is who it's only god that knows whose destiny you see me hug people here some of you see me hug our little children and you think that uh, i'm just hugging them i will continue to hug them because at their age we're not thinking like them that means most likely they'll be better than us at age 12 some of us were absolutely foolish these children at age 12 pray in tongues love god join prayer department some of them i mean look at a destiny like an arrow and you are missing an opportunity to invest you now come when it's too late when the person has become a big man do you know there are people who call my phone all the time sending insults and saying apostle uh, whatever it is they call you you are claiming you don't know me i say i don't know you i don't know you i don't know you don't bully me i don't know you listen when you celebrate a great man when he's great it's too late mm. you came way too late you don't celebrate greatness when greatness manifests you celebrate greatness in the process you participate in it that's why i'm excited for you because i have the privilege of participating in your success how in the world can i fail listen with all humility there are people today by the grace of god that i have raised who will never allow me beg for bread till jesus comes even if i decide to be careless and i i stop obeying any law of lifting you have sat down on on a you know how they do what they call it uh, um, let me not talk business here all those uh, 
businesses that you do you sit down you bring somebody and you keep rising that's how you can sit on a chair and keep rising like that forever because you paid the price to build someone are you hearing what i'm saying now question whose destiny are you investing in today question who will remember you when he gets to the throne if you are not there when i'm in the cave don't expect to be there when i'm on the throne if you were not there when i was on the cave don't expect to be featured there are, there are many lousy people in the body of christ with an entitlement mentality you hear them say i knew you i knew where you were not in what did you do about it when i was walking my way when i was hungry did you ever give me water you were part of those grumbling and talking and now that rejected stone has become the chief cornerstone you are now seeing the man of god in glory and power and you are saying we are colleagues we are not colleagues no sir listen be careful and don't let men bully you with their complacency and their inability to invest in your relationship anybody who does not think you are worth a good relationship should not be found in your future there are people listen i'm rounding up there are some of you many people who would have lifted you look at you now and they think you are failures because of what is happening they gist about you sometimes you hear it sometimes they say it to your face but they don't know what it is that is happening and then when you rise you see them come with entitlement mentality you should give me a house you should give me a car and you ask them why they say because i knew you before no sir everybody who believed in me when i was nothing it's impossible for them to fail in life because they took a risk by believing in someone they never saw any result and now their risk is yielding dividends so it is not wickedness when you see somebody bless somebody there are people in my life no matter how foolish and stupid they become i'm bound to them forever because they believed in me when i was nothing rejoice not over me my enemies for though i fall yet i will rise again are you hearing what i'm saying some of you in the whole of your family nobody believes in you they've told you to your face you will not amount to anything obey these laws and watch god shock every one of them to their knees apostle i want to be blessed what are you doing i just need hundred thousand to start a business who fooled you that that's all it takes to succeed you see that you have two tiers of rice in your house it can pay for a growing relationship you can cook food invite five of your friends and say look just to honor you guys i know that i don't have much now but i just love you after 10 years they will tell you remember that our rice now enter this five-star hotel let's now eat my own version of the rice and someone looks at you listen someone looks at say and say you you shouldn't be in the palace you say i paid for it since i paid for the palace when i could afford it i show you wisdom keys that men are using to climb ladders of greatness so you can see somebody in the future come you see somebody in the future no charisma no anointing yet favor will never stop leaving him everybody knows him we are about living with that today and a man of god who also came for administration the man of god came for administration i was about to enter the car let's go and then um the protocol stopped me and said please i need to attend to him i turned to him and i said hello sir i don't know you he said sir you don't need to know me i came for administration and i had you were around i stopped the guy was holding a seat in his hand say relationships there are people who will be talking who should we lift here and somebody will say please i have one daughter i have one son not my biological child but this child is so well well mannered very lovely person the person did not read this course but that person has character and say send for that person quickly you see people who read something that has no business with what they are doing yet they keep rising to be directors relationships keep promoting them tonight we are going to pray i will stop here lord one will continue the remaining next week there are plenty laws i will share with you the easiest way to succeed 
is to invest in relationships relationship is a stream of income when you are writing all your streams of income write relationships it will cost you now because under relationships you don't sell anything you give for free sometimes you need to be a fool investing in relationships some of you after this meeting you need to go and sit down and say lord who are the five most valuable people in my life and start calling them sometimes you don't even need five you just need one and say sir do you know there are people in my life who send credit all the time they don't have much it may be hundred naira. i'm not saying you should do it but i see the passion they are making to establish a relationship with me billy graham we talk about billy graham as the great evangelist do you know one of the reasons why he was great he had endorsements of every president before that happened it was said every time billy graham would write letters to members of parliament and the president of the united states wanting meeting with them they would throw away the letter he kept doing it and one day just one person attended to him a day will come the door will open don't think you will knock once and it will open you see the thing about relationship is that because of what you are looking for sometimes it will have to sting your ego don't be embarrassed pay the price that's the price for the value you are looking for i see a number of men of god sometimes they want to see me maybe for a meeting and they come once twice and say please what is the big deal about this one please we are all equal before god and i say what an unwise person i have pursued men with anointings i have humbled myself i have stayed for weeks and months just to encounter people and the encounter was not more than two minutes because of value I have pursued uncommon mentors i have spent money i have sown seeds i still sow seeds into the lives of people to maintain relationship what have you done that you are complaining there are people just to stand after service and be patient everybody's pulling their mouth it's too late apostle i need to see you specially um, um and i say look look I, I may not have all the time and then you see them frowning Abba, let's respect value no great man needs you you are the one who needs him so you must pay the price pay the price when i meet people who have what i look for i don't go as apostle joshua selman if it means me sweeping the office you've heard my testimony of when i wanted to take a trip to the u.s to go and scrub the toilets of charles and francis hunter i was not going there as colleagues i wanted to go and scrub their toilets for two weeks it pained me when they died and i didn't meet them relationships how do you travel to us to go and scrub toilet if can you snap yourself scrubbing toilet and put on facebook and say it is a lot to it most people who don't understand this will say look at how this person is disgracing himself never be embarrassed to invest in quality destiny relationships there are useless relationships that are going nowhere caught them this night i release the grace on you there are people who are going nowhere and they are forcing you you come around them you don't love god you don't think you don't plan you don't do nothing and they say two weeks you've not leave them all love is a command relationship is not choose your friends it is within your power if you are not going where i'm going i love you but you have to stay we can greet in church we can greet around but you cannot be my destiny friend not having my convictions a man who has to make you change your conviction in his presence is not a destiny friend leave them who are you believing in right now that you have not seen anything in their life who are you believing right now some of these people some of them are outside they may be sitting smelly clothes they can't afford perfume torn clothes but they are receiving you can reject them because of the privilege that you have and tomorrow you did not know that that was your governor you were kicking away oh jerusalem jerusalem you did not know your time of visitation your time came and you allowed it to pass you we are going to cry to god tonight father i want to engage the law of relationships stand up please pray rise up on your feet i like you to thank god
God for this message we just started introducing it tonight lift your hands and thank God open your mouth and say God thank you you are revealing to me the keys 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 hallelujah let me tell you something come bigger many of you don't know this gentleman you see this guy this guy would never fail in life ask me why because when we started listen carefully when he and i started the time we used to meet in the campus and sit on the slab and this gentleman the same way he's holding his guitar that's how he, he was a person who was holding the guitar and playing and he will, everybody usually will be seated when it's time to preach but he will have to stand with me there's another dear lady she was the one who would hold light for me that's her work she did it joyfully bring her touch light every time i was going to read a scripture she would do it joyfully those two people will never never beg for bread not when i'm alive yes no 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 it's not amen it's, it's a reality I'm serious about it. I can mention names of people. I told you about my principal who I went to visit early this year and I looked at him. He had become an old man now. And I said, God, in my lifetime, please let me build a house for this man and buy a car for him and bless him with a seed that brings tears from his eyes before he goes to me. It's a covenant I made with myself. What did he do? He believed in me. I remember seeing me as a young boy and he looked at me and said you are smart he had a little keyboard and he called me to come and sit down and I had come from a background of so much complex and pain he made the entire school to gather in front of me and he said I should play keyboard for them and that was the beginning of the healing process for inferiority that today nations are getting blessed from I was not born this way never forget those who believed in you when you were not in you see let me tell you something about greatness as you start rising levels will change don't let your mind change because you will start seeing psychophants people who you meet on the journey and they are there to make it look like at your level should you now be relating with these ones this woman used to sweep your house now you have become a big woman you are even going to marry a millionaire just find two thousand and let her go away please this smelly woman not your class a wise person will say if she could sweep my house when i had nothing she deserves to sweep my palace she even deserves a palace of her own relationships anything money can buy relationship can buy it you have been paying for too many things using finances start using relationships lift your voice and cry because god bless my lord lift your voice and say lord connect me Connect me. Connect me. Pray. Connect me. Jato Salaka de Bregadia. Seprakoto Salabakaria. I know our time is gone, but pray. I'm handing to you keys that will make your life remarkable. Man of God, pray for relationship. Strategic relationships, covenant relationships. Pray. Hallelujah. I like you to pray and say, Lord, take away the spirit of offense because offense is the killer of relationships. Hear me. Your friends will never be perfect people, just like you are not. There are many of you, you're, you're sad. You can never have a friend for two weeks and not talk about A to B and talk about B to C. It's a devilish attitude. I'd like you to pray and say, Lord, take that attitude out of my life. Bitterness on offense. Grace to forbear. Grace to endure. The weaknesses of my destiny friends. Grace to endure the weaknesses of my friends. 
Occasionally he would play bass guitar. Humble himself. Even when he became a pastor, there were times he was playing bass guitar. One day I had to tell him, no, it's okay. The person assisting him now, Francis. Francis is a friend of Charles. Francis was in protocol. Look at how God is lifting people except you. God is lifting people except you because pride has still kept you where you are. Big manism. There are people who humble themselves to serve. There are people in this ministry, the level of grace they have, they can be geos of great ministries. Yet you see them doing very frail activities. Some of them are in protocol, running around. He resisted the proud. He gives grace to the humble. You see what God has done in his life today. God bless you. Aaron, come. Let me give you. Come, Aaron. Many of you do not know that the first person who was the protocol of UNI was Aaron, this gentleman you see standing here. When we were doing crusades, nothing to write home about. Owing everybody everywhere, just moving by faith. It was Aaron who was in charge of logistics and buses. I remember shouting at them and pushing them and all of these things. This guy you see, Aaron. Yet till today, the way he is, you still see him greet some of the leaders. Some of these people are young, they are younger than him by far in age, younger than him in experience and all of that. And you see him still act and where there is an opportunity, you see him serve with all his heart. Aaron is one person who has served me and served God with his life. And I've made a vow and a covenant, no matter what happens, I will never watch him and his children beg for bread. Thank you, Aaron. Question. A few years from now, who is going to call you? Do you know a Jimmy's wife, this lady you see, as of 2010, she was a member of protocol. Protocol, when we're doing Kingdom Well Summit. Had not married her husband yet. Protocol. Serving with all her heart. Establishing quality relationships. Today, look at their children. All copying what the parents are doing. You are allowing time to pass. God is sending strategic people to your life. You insult everybody who is not you. You are out to look for imperfections. This lady is too loud. This person is too this. It is true they have those issues. But can you ignore it and see that God is connecting you with a ladder that will wipe your tears forever? Our parents ignored it. And today they keep frowning at televisions when they see their colleagues. Pray one minute. Open my eyes to see those who are my destiny helpers. Open my eyes to see the relationship I must protect at all costs. Open my eyes, oh God, to see the relationship. Not all relationships I want keeping. Not all relationships I want protecting. But I tell you, there are relationships that I want keeping forever.
you an assignment. As you go back home today or tomorrow, go and write the list of the five most valuable relationships in your life and begin to invest unashamedly in them. Five people that God has brought in your life that you know you need, no matter what it is. You don't have to invest in everybody. There are people after 20 years, it's still a waste. But let me tell you, there are relationships you must protect at all costs. Some of us are penny wise and pound foolish. We can destroy today or try to enjoy today. We destroyed a relationship that is long lasting. I have seen people, I have counseled people who destroyed relationship with great people over trivial matters. Matters of marriage, matters of money, matters of job, matters of reputation, matters of ego. Bro, great relationships with people. I know great men today who have vowed in my presence that they will never help certain people because of their attitude. Last prayer. Father, give me the grace to be friendable. Give me the grace to be relatable. May my life not drive people away. May my words not drive people away. May my attitude not drive people away. May my sense of resentment against people not drive them away. Pray. Success system. Success system. The mysteries that have been responsible for your common life, your common needs that is in the life of many people. Hallelujah. Look up. We're rounding up now. Some of you need to call your parents tomorrow and restore your relationship. Some of you need to call your siblings and restore your relationship. Some of you need to call maybe some people in your department. Even as workers in this house. Some of you need to say, look, I'm tired of this. I can't be fighting everybody. Master the art of celebrating people. That's one of the keys of relationship. Master the art of lavishly and truly celebrating people. Ah, Marcelina, you have a lovely voice. Amaka, you have a lovely voice. Ah, empty, you are playing well. Don't just say what is special. You see, the moment you trivialize people's worth, they run away from you. That's why you never see me talk about any man of God and try to show that I am higher. No, 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 no. You hardly even see me call any of this my people, my son, my this. It's still a happiness in my spirit. Don't resent people to show you are higher. No. Celebrate people. Our children come here after service. You see me hug them and appreciate them with all my heart. You come here whether I know you or not. I'm shaking you, I'm greeting you, I'm hugging you. After service, I tell you, hug one another. Some of you just pull your mouth and you are going straight to the boss. Don't do that. Don't do that. You, are, you can add 10 years of pain to your life by ignoring one person. Father, I pray for your people tonight in the name of Jesus. You are revealing to us success systems that will bring us into uncommon dimensions of triumph. I pray, oh God, that every spirit of bitterness that is in anyone here that is responsible for driving valuable people, may that spirit live your life forever. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray that God will give you the unashamedness to invest in profitable relationships. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that you will have at least two to three valuable people in your life that you can call friends in me. And I declare and declare that every wrong attitude that you have portrayed that has driven great people from your life, I declare a restoration for you tonight. In the name of Jesus, I command a reconnection for you with the great and valuable people who will lift you to the next level. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Put your hands together for Jesus and please keep standing.
Thank you for watching our entire video today. If you feel you can bless someone, please join us and spread the gospel by sharing this video on your social media.